Alrighty, so today what we are going to do is unbox the Ryobi blower. Actually called the power inflator. As everyone knows, I have this tool, I have it already. And I got another one for, well, it was on sale for $7, so I got a couple of them, as you guys know in previous videos. I do have one up for raffle in the Facebook group of Ryobi Rebels, so if you want a chance to win that, the raffle ends May 1st. No. Yeah, May 1st, I think. Yeah, the raffle ends May 1st. Uh, uh, just join the group if you want a chance to win one of these by, before May 1st. So that is up on raffle, but we are going to unbox this right now. And I'm going to explain and talk about what this uh, product does and what it is good for. Alrighty, I will need... Oh, no I don't. All right, so let's have a look. I love unboxing. I, I love unboxing stuff. I love it. I get, I get a thrill out of it. Of course, you get instructions. Decent packaging for what it is. Uh, just a little dusty. I got to take care of that. Let's smell it. Oh, it smells brand new. All right, so you get this attachment with it and that attachment and so uh, with the, those two combined you could inflate different types of stuff now this and that's that oh uh, yeah that's all that came in the box this box is now recycling so this is the tool right here as you can see I already got already got one of them uh, which one is the this is the new one. Uh, yeah, that's the new one. As you can see, as, as you guys know, I keep my tools clean, so it's a little hard to determine which one was the new one, because both of them are clean. So, uh, this tool comes in handy in a lot of situations, like, the, but its main purpose is to clean your... Uh, clean the sawdust off of your saws and working area. But because it has more than one true purpose, it you could use it for a lot of stuff. Like uh, what this is, it's a fan that sucks in air and blows it out, out of the nozzle at a high rate. So it is a short, uh, short distance blower so whatever you think of using like you could use this to cool yourself off during the summer just blow it on your face here and there but you could also use this to if you're going camping uh there's multiple ways you could use this and so it's not just for one purpose yeah this will inflate a queen i saw i saw a video of this this will inflate a queen size uh blow up mattress in about I'd say I think it was 45 seconds and it off of a 1.5 amp hour battery and it barely used uh, it barely used the battery so what pe also what people use this for is they use this for uh, for fires if they have a fire pit uh, just blow this uh, on the fire and it'll sort of like ignite it a little bit more to create more of a flame but yes, this thing, it's a very useful tool. I use, the, I love using this. It look, and it, just like most of Ryobi stuff, they look cool as well. This does have some noise to it. Not, not a lot though. I use this to clean, I use this to blow off my camera because I, the, I don't want to use a wet rag when it's full of dust and it's going to get grind, uh, grind into the corners and stuff and uh, crevices so I blow the camera first with this then I clean it with a damp rag to get all the my oil from my hands off of it and just keep it clean now this also 
Uh, it'll blow off your area. Uh, you could use this for, uh, because what I like to do is example like this. If this is around the saw and sawdust gets in there, I blow it inside. <laughs> I blow that inside to get all the sawdust off so it keeps the this motor clean from debris and it'll stay cooler instead of having this crammed with sawdust or whatever and it'll just wear off the motor from being too hot unnecessarily being too hot. I could actually uh, blow the dust off of my uh, floor with this from a distance because it's that powerful. But as you can see, let's use this. As a, and I just want to make sure that's in the shot. It is. Uh, we're going to blow that just like that. And it blows it right off. And you see, just by being in here, like I'm not sure this is not going to focus in on it, but my lens is full of dust. Now it's not. So now, without even touching or blowing humidity on my lens, this is now clean. That lens is now perfectly clean without having to touch it whatsoever. Same thing with, uh, with the cap. There's uh, dust in between the crevices right there. Done. Just like that. If there's many, like I, that's, oh, that's actually what I planned on doing, doing with this one. I'm gonna actually keep this one in my, uh, camera bag from when I go go out and film then I could clean this stuff without having to wipe everything down so yes but like I said it's a great tool this is a very useful tool as well this isn't uh you need it one time then you forget about it this you will if you have this you use it all the time because you know look at my hair that thing is really really powerful for what it is and it's it's a and not it looks cool as well you know so so just like I showed you in a previous video when you uh, want to blow up inner tubes if you're out on the water or out on the beach and you don't want to like for 20 minutes blow like that or have something that requires power for you to plug it in you know, like uh, an AC adapter for your, uh, a 12 volt adapter for your car. Then you blow it, uh, blow it up with that, you know, a little motor, which my uh, brother-in-law has, which you don't need that. If you have this, you don't need that anymore. <laughs> Done. It'll, t it'll take you uh, um, probably about a minute to blow up an inner tube, maybe a minute, 20 seconds, but it fills it up easily and with no effort whatsoever. And you, you don't even need to hold it because this uh, this uh, the trigger has a lock. Just like that, it turns off. And it also deflates. Let me make sure my, I'm still recording. Yes, I am. And it deflates as well because all you have to do is take the, the nozzle off, just like that, put it on top, and then you have a suction right here. A battery would help. So yes, that's all. It is an inflator and deflator in one design. So, another, just another tool that I have that I love. I use this as if, the, if I have the, my saw out or a saw out in any way this is out as well because then I could blow myself off I could blow my area off and I just could keep my uh, the area clean of debris so I'm not getting sawdust all over my hands and all over the tool uh, when I just could use this and clean everything off in a few seconds then it's like I just uh, I just started working on the project for that day just because it's I'm not covered in uh, sawdust and on the floor to keep it uh blow around the floor and get the sawdust off so you're not continuously walking in the sawdust from where the cut is being made so but like I said this is 
well, just one of the tools that I have, and I, I love it. I love all my tools. I do. I look at the, I look at these walls, and it gets me motivated uh, to uh, to do something. You know, like uh, so it's because it, instead of just having them look pretty on the wall, it's like I want to use these, and so that's why I got the the arsenal of tools because uh, it's the more. The more I look at this, like right now, I don't want to sit on the couch and edit this video. I actually, I, I feel like working on something. But uh, unfortunately, I do have to edit the video as well. So I get to, so I think t for the rest of the day today, I'm going to watch some Netflix and uh, edit this video and upload it today. So, but yes, and just uh, keep an open mind that what you see at Home Depot is not the only stuff Ryobi sells. Like, I wish that, I seriously wish that Home Depot would sell the Ryobi tape measure. I mean, it's a, it's a tape measure. You can't go wrong with a tape measure. Uh, the, also, another I, rare item, it's not rare, you could order it, but people just don't generally think of it, is the Ryobi hammer. Now, this hammer, I do not have any nails, I think, but, but just like that. Just like that, then bam, then you have it fed in already, but... But yeah, I wish another item I wish uh, Home Depot had in their stores, like so I could like not have to order online and wait. Because it's 2009, you you know you know how it is. It's 2019. People don't like waiting for anything now. There's a lot of things you could use this for. You know, like you're probably gonna think of some stuff that I don't know of because I haven't used it like that yet. But yeah, this is an unboxing video of the power inflator. So this is David Nicholas. Thank you for tuning in and I'll see you guys next time.